Anti-Afro Spengalis. I got to tell you something, but I got to tie it to another situation that went down during the summer. Yes, the title of the video is Moderator, and that's what I'm going to talk about. So let's go back to the summer, this past summer. I'm working on my system, and I get a phone call. Somebody's asking me to go over to Binary's channel and to tune in because something's happening. They tell me what's happening. I go to Binary's channel and listen, but when I'm listening, it's not what they say is going on. Granted, I'm working on my system and I'm not actually looking at the screen. I'm listening, I'm looking at the screen that I'm on so the YouTube is on the left side. And so I'm just listening to see if binary is going to get to what someone told me he was talking about. Meanwhile, what he was talking about, apparently there was a problem with someone on his panel and someone in the chat. So he was dealing with that. And then all of a sudden I hear binary just freak out and scream or raise his voice. However you want to put it. Do not delete comments in the chat. He start going off and it just so happens the problem was going on between the person on the panel and the person who binary said was deleting comments because he yelled the person's name out and told the person, do not be deleting comments in the chat. I can't see the comment that's deleted or comments. And I don't think binary was putting those on the screen because I wasn't looking at the screen. So I said, okay, let me look in the chat to see if I can get any indication of what may have been deleted based on what people are saying. I was just curious because he just had a, like a heart attack. So I look in the chat and people are saying things along the lines, that's messed up. Dang, like why are you deleting comments? Because, or why is this person deleting comments? Apparently it was one person based on what was being stated because we support this other person. So that was what was being repeated. So binary was continuing to make it very clear do not delete comments. And he actually had asked the person, are you deleting comments? Don't delete comments. Like he was very, you know, pissed off. And then he said something to the effect. I told you all, I'm not paying attention to the chat. I'm trying to deal with this situation. Again, I wasn't really tuned in to exactly what was going on, except for there was some issue with someone on the panel and someone in the chat, a particular troublemaking subject. And then I was thinking back to binary in not so long ago times, because during the summer and this particular situation, his attitude was very different, very different. Having a heart attack as to why he didn't want comments deleted. He didn't want people upset it was very different than just months prior. He didn't want comments deleted before because he was into the F shit in the summer. He didn't want comments deleted because it was all about the money. He didn't want to piss anybody off because he was making a lot of money. So here's the difference. Before, when he was allowing F shit with the moderators, like when he pulled that crap on Rev G, when he gave Rev G a wrench, and then Rev G was being harassed by someone who didn't have a wrench, the freak demon came into the chat and was doing all kinds of crap to Rev G. Rev G, I guess, timed the subject out first. And then the creep continued to harass Rev G 
And then Reb G, Reb G, I don't think Reb G blocked them. I think he kept timing them out or did something. And then Binary gave the abuser, who's known to abuse Reb G and harass Reb G and his family, gave them a wrench. But here in the summer, when he's freaking out because this other subject is deleting comments, he was doing it because he didn't want to lose any money. And this is before he got his channel demonetized. Remember, he was all happy. He was making tons of money. He was bragging about it before he got demonetized. He was panicked. So before he didn't have any respect for his platform. He didn't have respect for moderators. He didn't have respect for the chat. But now all of a sudden in the summer, when money's on the line, he wants to have respect for his platform. And then listen to this. Not so long after that, Reb G, Gerald, my friend, goes over to Olivia the Oracle, as did others, and they're having this discussion about different things. One of them was how uh, Garfield Carrie Ann was threatening black men. There's some other stuff going on. They were also talking about binary, and she stated, binary is having problems over there with his moderators, and he's having to have a moderator boot camp. Binary was so worried about getting the moderators together. And he said he's going to be getting rid of moderators because they're messing up his channel. Because money's on the line. Now he decides to get serious about moderators and making sure they don't just delete people, get people upset or delete comments. Didn't want people upset because of the money. But I want you to think about the reason the comments were being deleted when he didn't give a damn. The comments were being deleted because they were inappropriate. When Rev G was being attacked, he had a reason to delete the comments. The second time in the summer when he was making the money, deleting the comments, it wasn't appropriate. So he was doing the right thing in the summer because he wanted to make sure the money was gonna be made. But he didn't give a damn when Reb G deleted the comments when there was no money to be made. He wanted the F shit to go on. So I want you to hold on to that thought because I'm gonna to transition to another situation that went down not so long ago. We're still talking about moderator. So I'm moderating for this other channel. And you know, I'm not going to give you the name of this channel. I'm going to tell you why. Because there's such a blatant disrespect that this channel host has for their own platform. Now I had to mention Binary's channel because of the situation involving lots of things. I'm doing my thing for this host or this, yeah, live stream. And number one, those I don't have any interaction with for very good reason, want to communicate with me. See, I'm not there to communicate with those I don't talk to or enemies. That's not the purpose of a moderator. And it's not even related to anything. Like there's no reason for such subjects to want to communicate with me. So it's basically harassing. So I give a warning. They don't heed the warning. So I delete their comments and they start complaining to the host. Okay, whatever. Then they start leaving comments in the chat that are derogatory comments that can get a channel in trouble. I give a warning, they ignore the warning. I delete the comments. They start to gripe, they start to whine, they start to lie to the host and say they're being blocked. It's not being blocked. It's having inappropriate comments erased. So 
Up comes the guest on the, on the panel. At least two were doing this. Started to leave these vicious comments about those with disabilities. And I gave the warning again. Do not leave these comments about people with disabilities. And I deleted those comments. They kept leaving the comments. So I put them on a five minute timeout. And so the, the panel discussion continues. And um, somebody said, hey, so-and-so, like I guess they noticed the subjects aren't commenting. Are you blocked? They're leaving these comments because they're obviously trying to get the host's attention. The host is doing like an interview discussing situation with someone on the panel. So the subjects that I put in the five minute timeout come back and right away, what do they do? They start leaving these derogatory offensive messages about people with disabilities. They returned and right away when they returned, they started escalating with the derogatory comments. So very clearly they're harassing the moderator, me, and they're disrupting the platform, disrespecting the host. And so I put them in the 24 hour time out. And then you have the comments of the demons. Oh, she's deleting people. Oh, they're saying to the host, oh, where's this person? They're not making comments. Obviously and deliberately causing a disruption. The live stream ends. They go over to Remix's channel. And what do you know? They don't try any of that over there. Because Remix is talking about different things. They don't put disrespectful comments in the chat. They don't place any sort of derogatory messages or comments that can get the channel a strike. And let's take a couple steps backwards. The other host had made some comments. Okay, don't delete. I said no one's being deleted. Actually, there was one person that was blocked who was leaving these um, extremely abusive and vulgar homophobic comments. That person was blocked. That's the only person that was blocked. So here's the thing. The host before, before we go to remix this channel, the channel that I was talking about before that, this particular host gets extremely, extremely upset whenever there's a strike, whenever there's a hit, like a privacy complaint. Anytime there's any such punitive action taken against the channel. But the host is saying, don't delete comments. Don't do anything, let them rock. Let me make sure I clarify that. One time the host would say, unless they're being like abusive, that was one time the host said that, but they were being abusive during that live stream that I just described. And the host, was saying what the host was saying before. Like the host would sometimes say, I'm going to have to take, I'll end up just taking the wrench. I didn't ask for the wrench. One way or the other, it's not going to matter. But if you give somebody a wrench, it should be used responsibly. I want to make sure it's clear. When a statement is made about that, it's about all of the anxiety that the host has about having given the wrench. But there's a reason why that wrench was given. There was nefarious motives behind that wrench being given. Now, I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but I want to get back to what went down on Remix's channel and the significance of that. Okay, so they put Remix to the test. They tried that shit on his channel. They tried to push him to the limit. They tried all kinds of crap on his channel and he put the hammer down. And they tried all kinds of shit, trying to say he was doing things at my behest. But that's ridiculous. He was doing it for the good of his channel, saying things to him and harassing him and putting things in his chat and coming up on his channel and just start screaming at him and not letting him talk on his own channel. 
power. What does that have to do with me? It has anything to do with me? Putting family members, photographs in the chat and using all these phantom avatars and talking shit about people under someone else's name, like completely bombarding the chat with another avatar. Come on. If the topic is A, coming on or coming into the chat and taking the chat to topic Z, like all the way to something that's completely unrelated. They've tried all that on Remix's page over time. So they went from that other host channel and did all the shit that they tried on Remix's channel and saw that the host allows that. Now that's not the only time in that chat that they've tried stuff like that. They did it in that chat because they've seen over time that this is a crap that that host allows. And immediately went over to Remix's channel and didn't try it. There are those out there who are known to go to a channel, come up on a panel and put porno pics. Like they'll, I'm gonna grab the link and what they'll do, they'll put porno pics and right away send a strike. And then YouTube says, you're responsible for everything that happens on your channel. So this particular host really gets bent out of shape whenever there are any negative outcomes or anything that YouTube will do against the channel. Here's what I have to say about this. Going back to how binary was acting before he got hooked up with that other sector, when he played that bullshit, disrespectful garbage on Gerald. He didn't give a crap about his own platform. He didn't respect his own platform. The same applies to the host that I'm referring to. No respect for the platform, no respect for the chat, no respect for the moderator. It's just trying to stay in total ambulance chasing mode. And when you stay in total ambulance chasing mode, you're going to get hit. Your channel's going to eventually come down because there are those waiting to strike because they're doing this so they can turn around and come right back to the channel and file strikes on it. They don't even care. But listen, I got something else to tell you. These subjects who are putting these nasty, disgusting comments in the chat, they go over to Skunky Toy Lady's channel, the regulars over there. Guess what? They don't do that on her channel. They don't leave those messages in her chat. And guess what they do over there? They block people. They delete comments because people who go over there go flying to other platforms complaining about it. Yeah. So they'll go to someone else's platform and screw it up. But when they go over to skunky toy ladies platform, they don't disrespect that platform or chat. They go to remixes platform or chat. They go to remixes platform or chat. They don't disrespect that platform or chat. And why is that? Because those two hosts are respecting their own platforms. So you have the other host who I'm telling you about now doesn't respect their own platform. Instead, they want to try to lash out against the person who does respect their platform. Now, don't get me wrong. There are people who go to that platform who do respect their platform but they aren't given priority. They want to target the person, me, the moderator, who does respect their platform because the other people in the chat, they're just basically just there participating. They're not taking any, you know, extreme action because they don't have like a moderator stick. They're basically there. I'm not expecting them to like stick their neck out and like defend me. That's not the issue. They're there as participants 
as far as the subject matter goes. So you have a host who doesn't respect their platform. You're going to attract vermin. You're going to attract others because they might be interested in the subject, but you're going to attract a lot of vermin. They're going to disrupt your platform. They're going to attack your moderators. They're going to see how you're going to react to that. They're going to see what side you're going to take. It's like blood and shark infested waters. But as some of you may know, if you haven't learned by now, you just might, I wouldn't say learn. If you haven't observed it by now, I'm quite capable of defending myself. What I never was going to do is compromise. I was not going to sit in a chat with the wrench and accept it. Like see abusive comments and not delete them. Get harassed and not deal with it. I wasn't going to ignore it. It didn't matter whether or not the host is threatening to take a wrench. It doesn't matter because I knew why the host gave me the wrench to begin with. I wanted to see if the host could take the heat. Let me explain why the host gave me the wrench to begin with. It was nefarious from the outset. I want to see if that host could handle it. I mean, it was a given that eventually the host was going to crack. So let's go back and let me tell you why the host gave me that wrench. That host gave me the wrench because the host was pissed, was pissed at others. The host did not take kindly to being singled out and excluded from the blackout meetings. Rage pigs and whoever those other idiots were in this blackout meeting supposedly to get whoever out of here out of the YouTube environment. How the hell are some freaks going to get anybody up out of YouTube like they own YouTube out of anywhere? No. <laughs> also, get somebody out of a sector that they're not even in. I'm not even in the Umar Johnson sector. At any rate, when the host learned that their name was very specifically mentioned as one to be excluded because the host was seen as, I guess, this word was not mentioned, but I'm going to use it, seen as a sympathizer or wasn't hard enough on the AFW. That host, and I'm talking about the live stream that I had a wrench in, I don't, I mean, had or have, I don't know what the status is. They couldn't be trusted, this particular host. That host was offended because I know that host would have wanted to be included. That host would have wanted to hear. I'm not saying that host would have gone along with anything like that, but without a doubt, that host would have wanted to hear what was going on and did not like the fact that the host was singled out. So in retaliation, it was in your face that I'm giving AAS this wrench. Now, what are you going to do? So that's where the wrench came from. So once the wrench appears in the chat, it's a different story because you have all of these other elements, pressuring and harassing and getting at and complaining. And if you don't have a strong enough character, that kind of thing can gnaw at you. If you really care what others think about who you have engagements with, whatever type of engagements they are or they aren't, whether or not you're dealing with someone or not, whether or not someone supports your channel financially, whether or not you're talking to someone behind the scenes. If you are consumed with what others think about you in that regard, you aren't going to be able to handle the pressure. I mean, it is like mind boggling to me how any grown ass man or woman mature man or woman would give a damn what anybody else would ever have to say or think about anybody who they may, may not, are, are not dealing with. And furthermore, you let that drive your decisions. 
That's how I look at it. This is me. That is whoever they are. But too many of those subjects, character is incredibly weak. They cannot handle the pressure. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what it came down to. Constantly talking about pulling a wrench like I give a shit. It's about your weak character. You care too much about what others think about what you're doing, about who you're talking to, whether you're talking to them or not. And let me say this about the money. I keep pointing back to that Diddy Combs situation. This has to be one of the most profound examples. No matter how much money you have, it is not going to change your character. So it's never gonna matter how much money or not somebody gives anybody in these YouTube streets. Your character is your character. If you're a piece of crap, you get more money, you're gonna be more of an asshole. If you're a decent person, you get more money, you're gonna be a decent person, might be even more generous. Yes, there's always exceptions and deviations, but money is never gonna make you change your character or make things like, oh my gosh, I'm a shitty person, I get more money, and now my world is much better. No, your world isn't gonna be any better if you're a piece of crap. If you treat people like shit without money, you're gonna treat them better because you have money. No, you're gonna use money to manipulate people. That's what happens. So I just wanna make sure it was clear. There was nefarious intent behind that wrench. I took the wrench, I used the wrench the same way I use the wrench every damn place. I wasn't gonna take a wrench and sit there and compromise my values. I deleted them damn comments. And that's what I would do any space. I'm not gonna take a wrench and sit there and let somebody harass me and verbally abuse me, talk all kinds of shit about people who have been good to me. I'm not talking about a disagreement that two people are having a fisticuffs and they're going at each other, mutual combat, somebody coming into a chat, deliberately just coming in to try to aggravate me by lying and slandering and harassing people who they know I'm cool with, who they know are cool with me. Come on, I know when people are trying to start trouble and I'm going to delete those comments. If the host can't handle that, I don't care. I'm not taking a wrench to compromise my values. I'm not taking a wrench to kiss anybody's ass. That is ridiculous. Now, you gotta think back not so long ago, we're talking about the same host who allows avatars of other family members to be posted in the chat. Who allowed someone's deceased, actually Rev G's father's avatar to be posted in the chat and said, I don't wanna delete that. When Rev G said, that's my father. Now, I wanna make this disclaimer. It depends on who you are. Some people aren't gonna care. If somebody posts a relative's avatar, some people aren't gonna care if people say things about their family. I personally come from the philosophy of these subjects making comments about other people's families didn't you know what was going on? No wonder they're trashing other people's families, but everybody has a right to react and feel how they feel. But it's a whole principle of the matter. If you know it bothers the person individually and you don't want to do anything about it, it's a character issue. And that's what it comes down to. It's not about how I feel about it. Because me, I put two middle fingers in the air. I, don't get it. I ain't going to give a damn because you're trash. Attacking someone else's family, knowing your family's trash. Look at all of these subjects attacking people's families. Look at their families. No wonder they are attacking other people's families. But the bottom line is knowing something is bothering someone, knowing that someone is bothered by how someone is treating their family, and you're saying don't delete it, that's a character issue. Now, what I wanna say for now, there's unfinished business 
with respect to this situation that I'm dealing with. And when I take care of that unfinished business, I'm going to come back and tell you about it. But for now, make sure you never forget to heed that warning. Fire beware.